Welcome back to Top 5 Auto Repairs. In today's topic, I'm going to tell you guys why your traction control system warning light is on and what is the most likely problem. The reason why your traction control warning light is on is because the computer recognizes that one of the wheel is slipping more than the other wheel. If the traction control warning light is blinking, most likely the problem is just going to be temporarily. However, if the traction control light stays on, most likely you do have a real fault somewhere in the system. For example, let's just say it's a cloudy day and you are driving down the highway and all of a sudden it starts to rain heavily out of nowhere and let's just say there is a flash flood. Let's just say the water went up to let's just say about halfway above the wheel. And let's just say you are driving and suddenly it feels like one of your wheel is slipping and the traction control warning light starts to start to flash. And let's just say you are driving and you got out of that situation and now you're in an area where the water is not too high and you regain control. That problem is going to be temporarily and most likely you don't have a problem because that a warning light no longer flash anymore. However, if that warning light stays on and you're no longer in a situation where your wheel is slipping, Again, most likely you probably do have a real problem somewhere. So for most vehicles, the traction control system works together with the ABS system. And if something goes wrong, either the traction system or the uh, ABS system, it's gonna trigger that traction control warning light. So when the traction control warning light stays on, most likely the traction control and the ABS system are disabled. When both of these systems are disabled, your vehicle is more prone to skidding, especially when you're driving over snow, when you're driving in rainy condition, or even when you panic stop. So the first most common problem is going to be a faulty wheel speed sensor. Basically the function of the wheel speed sensor is to monitor the rotational speed of the wheel and it's going to send signal to the uh, computer where the computer will make adjustment when you are braking. So the wheel speed sensor in most cases is mounted on the steering knuckle or spindle and basically it's going to work together with a reluctor that is usually the wheel bearing or the axle. The reason why wheel speed sensor stop working is going to be due to interference. So basically if the wheel speed sensor cannot pick up a signal from the uh, reluctor or monitor the rotational speed of the reluctor that's again on the uh, wheel bearing or axle, it's going to trigger that warning light. The most common interference that prevents the wheel speed sensor from working properly is going to be debris, it's going to be dirt, it's going to be mud, it's going to be some sort of uh, build up on the wheel speed sensor such as let's just say um, the rotors are worn, the brake pads uh, materials are worn and it gets coated onto the wheel speed sensor. So basically to fix this problem is very simple, all you have to do is just remove the wheel speed sensor and just clean it off. And you can just even just wipe it off and put it back in and maybe that might actually fix the problem. Of course, you should always inspect the uh, wheel speed sensor for broken wires, for loose connection because the probability of it becoming damaged extremely, is extremely high since it is mounted on the suspension. If that doesn't fix the problem, most likely you're going to have something much more complicated uh, issue. For example, you could have a bad steering angle sensor, you could have a bad yaw sensor, Maybe the uh, traction control module is faulty or the ABS control module is faulty. And if those uh, components must be perfectly checked out because it's not that easy to uh, diagnose. And lastly, make sure to check your brake fluid level as well. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.